The Delore Factory is sponsored by Ladira, a romantic paradise. Lime, value every moment. Illuminous, your transformation begins here. Rituals, grounds for enjoyment. And supported by the Cultural Development Foundation, Creativity, Culture, Community. On the Delore Factor today, we continue to ask you to face some of your emotions and fears that your friends, family and even your loved ones may find difficult to face. On our last show, I introduced viewers to Velika Lawrence and Bashana Days, two beautiful, ambitious and remarkably courageous young women who live in St. Lucia and are best friends. One of them told a story that had our whole team and I suspect the majority of our viewers in tears. Her story and the support of a friend has been the discussion point for many. So today we continue this story because at the end of it we know you will act. You will understand certain situations better and if you are in a bad place in your life you will take a step forward to change it for the best. So stay with us as we continue this emotional journey on The Delore Factor. As an entertainer, I have seen many wonderful places around the world, but my favorite is Ladera Resort. Ladera is my favorite place to be, but the reasons why are difficult to put into words. Ladera itself is a mystical place that stimulates unforgettable memories in a setting that awakens your passion for nature and evokes romance. This is a place for rest and relaxation, recreation, and even recreation. I usually go to Ladera for a brief escape from the everyday, but I always leave revitalized and inspired. If you ever imagine what it is like in heaven, I believe you will get a glimpse of it at Ladera Resort. Ladera. There is nowhere else quite like it. I'm Delia Delore and welcome to the Delore Factor. We're here at Ladera Resort, we're in Paradise Ridge and we've just witnessed the sunset and it's just remarkably amazing. And now we know why it's called the Romantic Paradise. <laughs> With me, two guests, I know you've seen them before, you're going to see them again and I know that you are so happy that they're here with us. And I know you two have been thinking a lot since the last time we all met, so thank you so much. Bashana Days hey. and Billy Lawrence for being with us again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you know, I just have to do this. I have to stretch across. <laughs> I want to come and say, Aww. you are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are amazing. Bashana. <laughs> thank you. My girl, thank you. you are. You are something else because you know, in life, even though we go through things together. We all experience things in different ways. And at the end of our last show, and we will recap in a moment, Bashana admitted that she had to keep down some of her emotions in order to help her friend. And sometimes when you don't experience something, it's just hard to live it because you cannot experience it. You imagine all kinds of things that's happened to the person who has experienced it. And you will never get it right. Mm -hmm. You will never ever get it right because mm -hmm. they've experienced it. But your mind goes. And then when you are asked to do something against your own true feelings, especially someone like you, Bashana, who I know, you speak your mind, you do what you have to. Mm -hmm. So when you, you have to keep that in because you love your friend so much mm -hmm. that you don't want to hurt her anymore. That's just amazing. And... Malika, when you have to admit all the things that you did admit, and you're going to have to do it again, because not everyone saw us the last time that you were on, mm -hmm. and you admit that, you know, for a lot of people, their first instinct would be acts of violence. And it's not what you want. I mean, I don't think there'll be any one person in this world yeah. who would say, oh, you know, let's don't be violent about this. I don't think... And you say that. 
So I had to start off by saying, I know I'm going to be thinking about the two, the two of you for a very long time and always in my own way, and I think for a lot of people. And I am hoping and I know that what we have done and what we continue to do will help others. So for the benefit of uh, our viewers who do not know you because we're not, we may film in the Caribbean, but we're not broadcasting alone in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Can we just have a little brief recap in terms of who you are, what you do, and then just a synopsis of what happened last week. So, okay. Bashana. All right, hi everyone. I'm Bashana Leah Days, and I am a dancer, a model, an actress, and all of these things have been cultivated on local projects here in St. Lucia. Um, I'm also a sales and marketing representative for a company here in St. Lucia. Um, yeah, so I'm left brain, right brain, you know, academic as well as creative. Um, I'm also an advocate and a volunteer for community projects, one being the power of one that my friend Velika, you know, she spearheads. And um, just a fighter, a lover of the cause and for freedom of expression. I, that's, that's the main push. I think the reason why I'm here is to motivate and encourage people to be more free to express themselves and of course for the rehabilitation side of the truth because sometimes the truth can be very hard to face that it can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your turn Malika <laughs> um wow have we come a long way yes. <laughs> um okay my name is Velika Lawrence and I'm a self-empowerment counselor I'm an artist a writer a singer I do some drawing, like to do some painting, like to do some instrument playing, go back to those things. Um, but at heart, I'm a humanitarian, I'm, I'm an educator, and I am a creative spirit and a free spirit. So anything that comes with that. Okay. And why are we here, ladies? Talk about friendship, talk about um, the power of vulnerability and strength, integrity, communication, compassion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing. Yeah, compassion. I think mm -hmm. that's what um, I think we, we of course, you know, the show is only so long. So mm -hmm. we, I know it's a, it's a heavy topic, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of heavy topics to talk about. But compassion is something that I think needs to be taught. It's not something, um, I mean, you may have the instinct to be compassionate, but to practice it. I think mm -hmm. it's a muscle that you need to practice, that you need to train. Um, when we were last speaking, I was just kind of relaying and, or, you know, rather hearing my friend relay how it is that I supported her during her hard time after, um, you know, suffering at the hands of molestation. So, um, it's something that even my biological sister, Shadria, you know, um, she knows all too well how I can get when I'm in a protective mode. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, um... I mean, she, she, she knows who I really am, you know, because she lives with me, you know. Vel is my sister from another mother, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I, you know, she, she's, my, she's my escape. Mm -hmm. So when I'm at home and I feel like I'm not being understood or I'm not being supported in the way that I, I want to be by, mm -hmm. my, by my family, my blood family, I run to Vel. Mm -hmm. And likewise, they all, all of them are also the people who put me on track and tell me, no, you're actually overreacting. You need to calm down, mm -hmm. you know. So, um which I need to do, I know, very much. <laughs> That's <laughs> just your passion. Question. That's just how you express your passion, I would assume. It's true. I like to say, I, you know, and again, of course, purpose of, um, for, the, for the purpose of time, we have to you know, go quickly in some areas, but I want to point out that it's never, for, at least from my end, not to say that she's overreacting that and she needs to calm down, mm -hmm. but to really go through all of the emotions and, and come up with a resolution, not just... Uh, an action to to suppress what's going on right now or to eradicate what's going on right now but for me when I when she comes to me the the vantage point that I'm coming from the perspective that I'm lending is a progressive one in my in my perception obviously at the end of the day to go back to whatever she wants so I don't want it to to come off in any way that that I too am suppressing her <laughs> from doing what she wants to do mm -hmm. in any way shape or form but it's a matter of us finding a balance together. I know what she would do, she knows what I would do, and then we sit up and hash it out and be like, okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We found our point of balance, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, last week, um, you confided to, to everyone that at the age of three, that you were molested. 
and we tried to understand and we couldn't yeah. we, we went through so many emotions you know but because of we have a, a break coming up soon I would just like if you could just define the important question we asked before we went into things which was what is the difference between uh, molestation or being molested and being, being raped, raped. So could you maybe explain that to us and then when we come back from the break we can... Okay, so and in the last show I had mentioned that you have to be aware of what it is in your state, in your town, in your country mm -hmm. because different laws may vary um, but, but to be general, rape would have to include penetration either by a part of the body or a foreign object mm -hmm. and molestation is manipulation, coercion um, touching, feeling, whatever the case may be but without penetration but as a from a psychological point of view and from the victim's point of view both can have the very same effects on the victim so that's mm -hmm. why they're both just as serious it's just that one actually results in physical penetration and the other one not necessarily okay thank you so much stay with us after the break uh, we'll discuss some more see you soon <laughs> 